Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is LA for show 23 coming back. It's been about four or five years since I did a video, but this last dance, this last dance got me back in my feelings. I wanted to uh, come back and shoot a vid real quick on just my my experience on uh, be, having a chance to watch this uh, greatness. There goes me at the palace shooting a three. You know I made that shot. You see that ball? You know I made that at the buzzer. You know that? No, but uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, been really cool watching this 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 last dance this last dance has been uh amazing to watch son's seven years old right now so he's seen me collecting all these shoes and all this all this jordan stuff like he's seen me collecting all this stuff like over the years like so it's been cool to show him why i've been collecting it you know like why i've been such a fan like you see the 91 championship hat like I used to have this hat and then it got wrecked and I took the patch off my mother sewed it on a jacket I had so like that's how <clears throat> like invested I was back in the day and I'm so glad they were able to revamp this, this goat talk with like all the greatest uh players and everything like right here we're down here in the throwback shack just uh reminiscing right now as the first Bulls team to do it. I had my son, my, when my son was born, he came home in that. That's what he wore home from the hospital when he was born. Anyway, so we're down here in the throwback shack. Um, real quick, just do a, so I'm kind of big into like all the 80s stuff, 90s stuff. There's uh, my favorite game, Street Fighter. Um, just give you a quick little look around the throwback shack. Um, a lot of this stuff's like, from my past like here's some jordan valentine's day cards brand new in the box never been open just stuff that i've collected over the years and my son's baby shoes first painting i ever did this is my little brother's 94 jordan ones kind of just kind of freshened them up recently along with his flu games Got them. But uh, tonight's uh, episode featured the last shot. You guys saw it. Here's a little some bar, some bar stool type talk right here. Some something you see in a bar, like like the the gold flake, like the night, the the six championship run right here. It's kind of encompasses all of the footage we've seen like all the championships there's a painting i did back in high school jordan jumping over the windy city but yeah man this has been uh pretty epic man like all this stuff's been pretty sweet to see again um but real quick this is a quarantine collection vid so what i've been collecting since we've been in quarantine <clears throat> I've been picking up these Wheaties boxes. Shout out to my main man, Jumpman Bostic. Uh, he allowed me to come and visit his amazing collection back in the day. Um, probably like, damn, probably like eight, nine years ago now. Seven, six, seven, eight years ago. First time I've been down there and I got to see all, like, he... he collects everything from Gatorade to Jordan boots to Jordan telephones to everything and he had these Wheaties boxes and the most amazing thing was that the cereal was still in there so that kind of like I don't know recently being on quarantine I just like man I should get some Wheaties boxes and uh I've been looking on eBay and I found all the main ones I wanted so this has been pretty cool. Uh, here I got all the the main shoes highlighted in the in this um, docu series. You got the flu games in the last shots most recently from this uh, current uh, weekend the the, the finale. Um, but yeah, all these are pretty much showcased. You know, mainly the double nickels. He, he wore the 
got, got the big game when he came back and he wore the wore the ones in the New York <clears throat> the garden that was pretty sweet but other than that so other than in the quarantine collection I've been picking up these Wheaties boxes as well as the uh, the pops so real quick sidebar I'm a big fan of Stranger Things and picking up the a lot of the Stranger Things pops that I didn't have because I've had a lot of time to just kind of kick back but yeah I was able to pick up I, I already had a lot of these but the main one that I needed to get was the all-star Jordan so I just picked that up and other than that I got the Jumpman Bostic uh, again he uh, gifted me this uh, Michael's secret stuff from Space Jam to complete my Space Jam set we need a another space jam um we need a, uh, we got everybody but michael jordan and as far as the pops go and uh joshua dot devaney on instagram he's got all any jordan you could think of in pops so shout out to him he's a friend of mine from australia that i met through jump man i mean he's uh pretty cool dude man he's he's put a lot of effort into his collection and uh He's a big inspiration in as far as collecting these Jordan toys. But uh, other than that, here's a quick look at the uh, collection stuff I got going on down here in the throwback shack. I collect everything from my childhood. There you got the Home Alone, Talk Boy, Steve Urkel, Back to the Future stuff. But yeah, and, and big fan of uh, Ghostbusters, obviously. But um, other than that, yeah, it's about Jordan and the last dance. Real quick, here's a painting I did of uh, Mario. I'm a big Nintendo guy, but here's a uh, Mario. That's a Mario 2 cartridge. And what I did is I took the theme and I went ahead and made it Jumpman Jordan theme. Got the bread 11s on them, sticking the tongue out, spinning the ball. But it looks like the Mario cartridge. So that was kind of, I don't know. I'm an artist and I got a lot of uh, hobbies and stuff. But the love for basketball and um, collecting Jordan stuff has always been on my radar. So here's a quick look in the, uh, the shoe room. Nothing crazy down here. Um... Uh, People got a lot more collecting collectibles and kicks than me, but I kind of slowed down after I get all after I got all the main ones, uh, Jordans that I wanted. I pretty much slowed down, but here's uh, the box for the Jordan ones. Here's the the uh, Jordan one box, and my first pair of Jordans was the Jordan three uh, white cements came in the same box i got it for 60 bucks in marquette back in the day so that's pretty awesome that's why i keep shouting out jumpman bostic because um he kind of inspired me to keep going as far as collecting goes and um but yeah here i got my one through 23 ikea wall and just go down uh, a lot of you guys just try to pick these up these are the 20 need 10 flints with the 3m and then in here i got the these are like 20 i can't remember but those are dead stock but, so i don't need to pick those up but anyway yeah i got one through 23 that was kind of my main thing to get one through 23 i haven't really picked up anything outside of that and then i collect like the pennies i got all the pennies over here because he was a big nemesis of jordan and he was uh uh big highlight reel back in those times but yeah so that's the jordan room you gotta put a code in let me go ahead and close that up get in you gotta put a code in get in there you know what i'm saying but anyway and um yeah but other than that man it's a quick look at the throwback shack um like i said jordan the, uh the last dance this has been like really fun to be able to watch this every and uh just see 
what they uh, portrayed and I mean seeing him and his uh his good and bad I know there's probably a lot more bad than good like well not a lot of more bad than but there's a lot more negative than people thought like how he was like they don't get to see like the the drive he had and uh, what he had to do to to pump his teammates up to get them to want to win he had to he had to go the extra mile and kind of be kind of mean towards them a little bit but you know you got to do that if you want to win uh, got to have that you got to have that glare you got to have that you know that that attitude to kind of want to win and uh that's what that's what but, uh yeah thank you guys for tuning in la for show 23 um formerly known as the cable guy now you can call me the gm general um i collect a lot of cars all general motors and uh big jordan fan I might show you some other some other vids soon but uh mainly tonight we want to talk about the last dance and what you're collecting during this quarantine because it's been kind of rough but it's been, it's been it's been fun you know time off and being with the family and just kind of just kind of you know having a little look on life like it, it's felt like we've been on retirement you know recently so yeah but uh other than that LA for show 23 Coming back from the Throwback Shack. I'll see you guys later. Peace.